Hope you are doing fine. Actually, honestly, I made this video also before, but I had some technical problems, unfortunately, and I had to delete that video. I didn't know why it happened. Actually, you can understand right now because I had some light problems. I needed to change the camera settings. It went worse and worse and worse. Also, I had some edit problems. Additionally, I had some computer problems. So that video had all of the bad things. That's why I needed to delete it. And now I'm gonna do the same makeup and I'm gonna talk about exactly the same topic. I didn't give up talking about this topic because I know you need it. I know you gained weight in quarantine days like me. And now you are thinking like how you will go out without losing weight or you are trying to find a solution about losing weight. Today I want to talk about why we have been gaining weight in these days, recently. And I want to show you how you can show your face thinner than it is. Let's go to the video. I'm going to start with Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless Flexi Hold 33 Crystal Beige Foundation. I'm applying this with a foundation brush. And when I check the screen, I feel like Nikki Tutorials. Now I can understand why her face looks so red while applying her foundation. Now summer is coming and unfortunately we are having hard times about everything this year and we haven't overcome COVID-19 yet. But we are imagining, we are dreaming about going out freely because it will be summer soon. And we all noticed that we gained too much weight because of developing our baking skills or cooking skills or eating skills. Whenever I entered on YouTube, at least one video I came across about baking bread and blending my foundation with a sponge. By the way, this foundation is three in one primer, concealer and foundation. That's why I didn't apply any primer before this. It's already good. It will set on my skin in a few minutes. Why we all gain weight around the world? Because we are bored, we are at home. It's a too good time for developing your baking skills or cooking skills and spending time in the kitchen and eating and YouTube videos. YouTube videos about cooking, YouTube videos about baking bread. Even though we don't want to bake any bread at home, we start to curious about the taste forever later. Because everybody make it. Too many YouTube videos we have to watch about baking, especially baking. For a while later, we start to curious about the taste or how to do. And also we start to cook or bake and we need to eat, of course. Even though this foundation doesn't need any concealer after applying this, but I want to use a little concealer. It's not enough for me. Deborah Milano H Reset Concealer. My color is number two, rose. Just a little. I'm applying it with the same brush. You have started to baking and cooking too many things. Good food. Actually, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. But we are not too free for going out like we were doing in old days. So just we are baking, cooking, eating, baking, cooking, eating, baking, cooking, eating, and so on. Now I want to use Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick for my face. Now it's a little serious. I want to use this stick directly on my face. I won't draw my face like this. I'm going to use it on my hand first like this. Because I want to control the contouring first. 
Now, put the half of your finger like this on the hole and the other half should be on the cheekbones like this and apply your contour here gently Don't draw the line until your month. If you draw the line until your month, your face would be shown down and it wouldn't be a good view. So you should stop it here. And the other cheek. By the way, if you use your contouring like this with applying on your hand first with a brush, you can save more product. And the same process here. Half of your finger is in the hole, half of your finger is on the cheekbone. You can pull your skin like this, you can do like this, you can do like this, it's your decision. And you draw the lines of your cheeks. And keep on like this to the upsides. Apply it to your temporal sides. Side foreheads. Of course your forehead has no relation with your chubby cheeks, but if you apply your contour on your temporal sides, and side forehead here, then it helps you for showing your face longer. If you show your face longer, directly your face will be thinner. Make your forehead tighter than it is. And your temporal sides. When people started to upload baking bread videos on YouTube, I saw a comment, maybe I can find it. Uh, it was written like, you will have bread faces with eating homemade breads. <laughs> now this side. And giving the deepness to your face with directly applying this on your face. And also your chin bones here, when you block this side, so with applying this, like this. Directly you can show your face thinner. Now I'm blending. And honestly, we have a bigger problem than baking bread. Yes, we have reasons. We are home. We cannot go out so freely. So we need to spend time in kitchen. We need to spend time with cooking or baking or eating. But actually the main reason is a psychological problem, emotional eating disorder. In my point of view, most of us have this right now. What's the emotional eating disorder? Emotional eating disorder is like a need for feeling empty place with eating. Like when you lose somebody, a loving one, when you break up with your partner, when you cannot going out, a lack of something, lack of doing something, cause emotional eating disorder. You need to feel the empty place with eating. You cannot go out freely. You cannot meet with your friends. You cannot go to a restaurant and have a dinner with your friends or with your partner or with your family members. You cannot travel, you cannot live as you are used to do. You have empty places right now and you are trying to 
fill the empty places with eating unknowingly. I'm blending the chin bone sides with the same brush. By the way, you can use sponge too for blending. And we have also another problem, except the chubby cheeks, we have also jaw, double chin. And I want to show you how you can hide it too. Apply your contour stick on your hand again and do it with a brush. And make a shadow on your jaw so you can hide it. And don't use the contour stick directly on your jaw because nobody wants a few as if you have a beard. And you can already see the difference from now on. And we can keep on with nose contouring. Actually, nose contouring isn't so necessary if you have a thin nose. But I know some people suffer about their noses get thicker, bigger when they gain weight. That's why I want to show how to do nose contouring too. With the same small brush, with the same technique, I want to start from the brow line to down from up from your brow line down to your nose and the other side you can use directly the contour stick on your nose actually a lot of people do it like that but it's a little risky if you haven't ever done it before and blend it And here, under the place where you want to make a little ball here and on it. If you're okay with your nose, if you have no problem with your nose, you don't need to do it. I'm just showing public service. Now I want to apply bronzer. For make the contouring sharper and deeper actually you don't need to do it but if you do it it would be better so i want to use technic color fix contour palette and what kind of a color we are going to use we need to use a color which is not so warm or shiny for example if you use this color it would make your cheeks bigger because it will take attention. It's not what we want to do. If we apply this shiny color or this rosy color for heating the face, so our cheeks can be shown more. It's not what we want to do. And that's why we need to use a color like this. And apply your bronzer through up with your brush. And I want to apply Maybelline New York Face Studio Setting Powder with a sponge. I'm making baking. A few minutes later, I'm brushing the powder out. And nice, if you show your eyes and lips bigger, then automatically your face will be thinner. So let's see how we can make our eyes bigger.
And this color which I applied on my cheeks for heating my face. I'm taking it to a small brush, a shadow brush. I'm making it shadow with this color. Eye contouring. And with the same color, I'm making a shadow under my lash line. It doesn't need to be a thin line. Honestly, I can change my brush. A brush like this. A little tinier brush. Again, fluffy brush. The same color. I'm applying it not as a thin line. Like this. Because we need bigger eyes for showing our faces thinner. I will keep on with this brush. Other eye. And with the same brush, I'm applying the same color directly to the crease area. Then I want to keep on with a more darker brown. This color to the crease hole. I'm applying this on the crease hole directly. You can apply it with a tinier brush. It's up to your eyelids. And like this, for making your crease lines more apparent. Apply the darker color under your brow bones directly. And have bigger eyes. <laughs> then apply the same color under your lash line. Don't be afraid of coloring your under lash line. Make it thicker. Actually, you can draw an eyeliner for a lifting effect, but then it would make your eyes thinner. Yeah, it would give you a uplifting effect, but if you make your eyes more round and bigger, then you can show your face more thinner. A thin face effect. That's all we want to do. Actually, you can also use another color for your eyelids, but brown is a joker color for this. You can use also gray, like smoky or black if you want, but brown color is more suitable for this technique because it's contour color. And eye contouring is also okay. And we can give a shiny touch to the eyelid. I will use this color with my finger. Just a little, not more. For giving a shiny touch only. And also we can use it for under lash line with a flat brush. Only onto the middle. How we can overcome this emotional eating disorder? Actually, if we overcome this sickness, this virus, as soon as possible, we will turn to our normal lives again 
and when we turn to our normal lives we will have our previous habits again normal habits then our lives will turn to normal so we will stop eating like this directly automatically then we will lose weight automatically in my point of view because now i know it's a little strange even i eat junk food even though i don't like junk food too much but the situation pushes us to eating uh, because we need to be more busy but overcoming this before overcoming the virus can be difficult of course because our routines are totally changed the only thing is we can do is making ourselves busy with something else like reading books watching movies not virus movies watching netflix painting doing puzzles i'm applying essence extreme crazy volume mascara and apply your mascara also to your bottom lashes it would help to show your eyes bigger My eyelashes are fine. You can also apply white pencil liner or skin tone nude pencil liner into your eyes. It can show your eyes bigger, but I cannot do this because I have downturned eyes. If I apply a white color or nude color inside my eyes, then it might show my eyes down. Eyebrows, I wanna brush my eyebrows with this Makeup Academy Lash and Brow Defining Clear Gel Mascara. Essence the Eyebrow Pen Semi Permanent Blonde Color. I won't apply it too much. A little only for filling two empty areas. Then highlighting. First, I want to use this highlighting stick of the contouring stick. I want to apply it here, here. Actually, I'm applying this stick for a base, like a highlighter base. I don't know if there is anybody who uses this without any other highlighter. I want to use it here. This side if you have take attention to your forehead the middle of your forehead then it can make your face like tighter from this sides and longer also here this ball here and here for showing your face longer you need to take the attention also to your chin if your chin looks longer your face looks longer, it makes the face thinner. I'm blending the highlighter with a sponge. You can blend it with your finger too. Generally, I do it like it. What would we do if the squinted days don't pass so easily if this virus doesn't leave at the end of the year what will we do we need to change our eating habits like we need to eat more fruit or salads instead of junk food and in my point of view we stop baking bread or everybody will open their own bakeries after quarantine days i have a face palette like this i want to use this highlighter with a tiny brush For showing my face lifted and you can pull the highlighter here to the blush area too and up and up and down this side and here my aim is not showing my face larger thinner and take the attention to upsides here 
and nose for making this shiny touch. And here, and blush area also. Now there is a big question mark about blush because applying blush, making your face pinkish or reddish can show your cheeks bigger than it is. So what's your wish while doing this? If you are suffering about having too big cheeks, so you don't need to apply blush in this situation. This is my opinion. But if you do want to apply a blush, I would suggest to you applying a blush like this, not like this. I'm applying this blush rosy color to my cheeks. Not too much. Only this sides. It's okay. Now lips. Actually, I wanted to apply a nude color for my lips. But in the previous video, which I had to delete, I used a red lipstick and uploaded my picture on Instagram. That's why now I want to do the same. But if you have thin lips, you need to apply a nude color and gloss for showing your lips bigger. Because I want to make my lips bigger. Because if I make my lips bigger, then directly they take the attention and automatically my face will be thinner. Now I'm gonna apply a lip liner. I'm starting from above side of my lip liner, natural lip liner. I'm drawing a new lip liner above the natural lip liner. I'm filling inside of the lips. And I'm gonna apply Maybelline New York Pleasure Me Red, this color. I feel it's okay. And as a last step, fixing spray. Okay, then you can see the difference. And my makeup is done, video is over. Hope you enjoy with it. If you like my video, don't forget to push on the like button under my video and don't forget to push on the subscribe button under my video and turn on the notifications with pushing on the bell symbol next to the subscribe button. And you can follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Ciao.